Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we're going to look at the Emirates Boeing 777-300 Extended Range. And when you take a look at the box, it looks really fantastic in this special Emirates design. You can see the schematics of the aircraft and of course we have the Emirates branding as well. Now if we turn the box around, on the back side we can see again the schematics of the aircraft and a lot of really interesting information which we normally don't get on the Hapwings boxes like for example fuel consumption or engine types or packs loads, stuff like that we never see. We always get the original dimensions of the aircraft which is really nice, we also do this on this box. But there's just a little more information which is really nice. So let's look inside. Now here she is, the Boeing 777-300ER from Emirates in well, the current livery. It hasn't really changed that much. A few years ago the Emirates branding was still a little bit smaller, but that's it. So let's start with looking at the tail section of the aircraft. Now on the vertical stabilizer we have, well it's basically a stylized version of the flag of the UAE and of course the full registration code. Then if we move along the fuselage to the front of the aircraft, along the fuselage we have the big Emirates branding, underneath that we have the writing of Emirates.com. Then just under the cockpit windows we have the specification of the aircraft type, then if we turn the plane around we can see the printing of the cargo doors. Now if we go to the belly of the plane we can see again the huge writing of Emirates. Then of course on the underside of the wing we also have the full registration code once again. Now before we move to my personal highlight on this aircraft I want to talk a little bit more about Emirates and the Gulf carriers. Now it is kind of an open conflict between the Gulf carriers and well the flag carriers from well America and Europe which basically are saying that the Gulf carriers are doing unfair business because they get a lot of money from their governments and thereby creating an uneven playing field where the traditional flag carriers from North America and Europe just can't compete. Now I'm kind of interested in your thoughts about the role that the Gulf carriers play in the European and American markets, maybe also in the Asian markets. I'm not quite sure how big a role the Gulf carriers actually are playing there. Um, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about, is it unfair business or is it just a new competition which the, well, the old carriers have to kind of get used to? Now with no further ado, let's go to my personal highlight on this aircraft. And for me, it is the engines. Now, I don't know what it is, it's probably because on the bigger aircraft types the engines are just, um, well, the details are easier to spot. And I just love the engines on those big aircraft, especially with the fan blades, and for me they just kind of come to life. Now that's already the episode for today. If you enjoyed, why not leave a like, that would make me happy. And if you're new around here, why not subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. And don't miss out on the next episode of Review, where I'm going to look at an Air Berlin Boeing 737-700 with winglets and in a transition livery. Now thanks for watching, I'm checking out, see you soon and bye.